Prince Misuzul has apparently been whisked off to Eswatini following chaos that erupted after his nomination as the next Amazulu king. Amazulu queen regent Mantfomi Lamine Zulu's will was read out last night and she picked Misuzulu, her son, to succeed King Goodwill's relative Ngapegu Zulu. ENCA's senior reporter Sipamanda Koke is joining me live from Wakangela Makengan, a royal place in Wanongoma. For an update after all the drama last night, a very good afternoon to you. Paso. Is the prince still gone? He is back in the Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. I'm going to show you his convoy now. Before I do that, Bonga Mkize, my colleague, will show you his siblings, his brother and sister. Princess Bukosi Bemvelo is there, as well as Prince Simingaye. They are outside Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. I can tell you that uh, Prince Misuzulu Kazuelitini is back at the palace. He is inside having a meeting with senior members of the royal family. What you see in front of us is his convoy. But before we show you his convoy, Bongo Musa Mkize will show you police visibility and deployment here. These are police members who are part of the royal protection services here. And this is the convoy and the security belonging to Prince Misuzulu, who's been named as the successor to the Zulu throne following the reading of his mother's will. This is the very same convoy that whisked him away yesterday night after the reading of that will. ENCA sources telling us that he's currently meeting with the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. He is also meeting with the queen mother there, that is Undrungulu Uga Kwabini, which is a uh, queen, Undrungulu Uzungu, Umanzini, Ukwabini. And let me tell you why that is significant. It's significant simply because those are two senior members of the royal family. Undrungulu Kwabini is the surviving wife of the late king, Beguzulu, who was the father to the recently departed monarch king, Kutwil Zweli Tiniga Beguzulu. Prince Mangosutu Butelezi is the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation. As I see more and more family members going inside there, I've just heard a word that what will happen is that uh, Prince Misuzulu is going to be meeting with all his siblings. He has summoned them into a meeting as he will be wrapping up this meeting with Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi and Dundrungulu Kwabini, he will then meet with his siblings. So this is what is currently happening at Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. Following those scenes from yesterday night after the reading of the will, we're going to take a walk that direction because we are not meant to turn our backs against the palace as Flate Luis Kodrawazulu. So we'll show you what is happening here inside the palace. Basically, there is high visibility of police, and I can see the Nazareth Baptist Church members. They are arriving here, popularly known as Ushembe. I'm sure they are here to pray. Remember, if my memory serves me well, today is Saturday, Isabata. So they are here to offer their church service and a prayer session to the new king. And basically, we also see some royal family, some Zulu royal family members gathered under the trees here. So it's a hive of activity here. I can tell you that uh, the new king of the Zulu nation is back. He is hard at work, and we are told that he will be frequenting this palace, having those meetings, but he's not going to sleep here anytime soon. So, pa, of course, we know there was that drama that we all uh, bore witness to last night after the reading of the Queen's will, but has there been any positive response to it? We know that uh, there was, of course, a member of the family that did stand up and was asked by uh, the traditional prime minister to sit down uh, while there was that reading of the will, but has there been any positive response to it? Not yet. Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi is expected to talk to us after the meeting with Prince Mesuzulu, and we expect to have some clarity on that one. But let me tell you that those who are in favor of the will, those who are supporting Prince Mesuzulu, who is soon going to be known as King Mesuzulu, Gazuelitini, they are saying this is done and dusted. The will was read out publicly. Cameras were there. The media was there. We captured it live. They say there is no turning back. Those who are unhappy, they must just lick their wounds and move on. In a season, what people are saying here, which is Pumile Ilanga, simply meaning that, well, the sun has risen again and now there is a new king.
the Zulus must accept that and move on. But let me tell you that this is not the end of it. Wow. Even the late king himself, King Kutwil Zuliti Nigapegu Zulu, it took him years to be accepted by some members of his own family. Even there were those who were saying, well, he was not the rightful heir to the throne. But at the end of the day, he served in the throne for close to 50 years. So this is just a start. But yes, tensions are still visible within the Zulu royal family members. They will be back to back meetings and perhaps we'll be getting more clarity on the issue of what really transpired yesterday. They will be trying to get the other side, which seems unhappy about what happened. But at the end of the day, according to the will that was left by Um Tanenkosi, the left, the late queen, Prince Misuzulu is the one who's been left with the throne, and he is going to preside and rule over the nation. Governor, before I let you go, there have been obviously questions that have been asked about the soon-to-be uh, Amazulu king's marital status, and that being one of the conditions for him uh, assuming the throne. What do we know about that? Not only him, anyone who takes over the throne, you know, that is one of the preconditions. But let me tell you, that is not a big deal. To get married, if you are to become a king, you can wake up tomorrow. Everything is pre-arranged. Surely there were some arrangements that were put in place. What we know from our sources is that Everything has been arranged. There were even reports, by the way, that this past weekend he had settled some of what was required to be done. Of course, that will always remain a secret. And we understand that there are plans in place to make sure that all the outstanding logistics, including the issue of getting married, they are being addressed. And we are told that very soon all of that will be dealt with. And we are told that, well, there are those who are pushing that the coronation must be done the sooner the better but it's not going to happen before he has been cleansed remember he has lost his father he has lost his mother before he can proceed with occupying the throne he needs to be cleansed first not only him including his siblings they need to be cleansed including Abu Nrungulu, the queens they need to be cleansed and all royal family members they need to be cleansed so the next step now is for the cleansing ceremony of all the Zulu royal family members and then after that he can move with speed in addressing whatever matters of the throne that he needs to address. But on the other side, in terms of legalities and requirements, from now on the Zulu royal family will have to write to the Premier of Wazuru Natal in nominating Prince Misu Zulu, and then the Premier will need to write to the National Minister responsible for cooperative governance and traditional affairs, Dr. Nkosaza Natlamini Zuma, submitting that name. The Minister will have to forward that name to the President of the Republic, Sir Ramaphosa, there has to be a certificate of recognition that he is the next Amazulu king, and after that, he can be coronated. Mfoka Koke, thank you very much. That is ENCA reporter Sipamandla Koke coming to us, of course, just outside of the Gwangala Mangengane uh, Palace, the Royal Palace, Guanongoma.